Minnesota's hockey culture is one of, if not the best, in America. So it's only fitting that one of the best hockey camps in the world is right here in Nisswa. Anthony Scott has a story on how this hockey camp has become world famous. I mean, we've had probably 700 NHLers come through here now. And it's no surprise why. When you drive up to the Minnesota hockey camps, jerseys of former campers line the walls, inspiring young players as they improve their skills. It's like they wake up in the morning at 8 o'clock in the morning and they go to bed at 9, 15, 10 o'clock at night and it's hockey from the time they wake up and it's hockey till the time they go to bed. Minnesota Hockey Camps offers one-week camps jam-packed with 32 hockey activities and it has been producing professional hockey players since 1980. I'm a little surprised that this camp is still here. To be honest with you, we thought it would be about a 20-year run and it actually got better. The growth has been unprecedented with the camp now getting national notoriety. Despite its name being Minnesota Hockey Camps, the camp attracts players from all over the world and this year they have a 10 year old from Norway. Minnesota Hockey Camps is based off a world class camp in Finland and in Niswa they work on everything from strength training to puck handling and everything in between. I gotta be honest, I don't know if there's anywhere in the world I've ever seen it duplicated. Um, the synergy, the work ethic, um, I think it's the top program in the world. The campers eat, sleep, and breathe hockey when they are at camp, but the lessons they learn can be taken with them for their entire life. If this place causes you to be productive, we've done our job. And who knows, maybe the next NHL star is practicing right here on Clark Lake. Reporting from Niswa, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. Minnesota Hockey Camps has seen players like TJ Oshie and Scott Hartnell come through the program, and the camp has the respect of legends like Wayne Gretzky and Jeremy Roenick, who have sent their own children there. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.